Okay, dear students, let us see what is there in this question. A radioactive nucleide with atomic number Z undergoes a process of beta positive decay. What is the atomic number of the nucleide produced and what is another particle emitted during the decay? So now to understand this radioactivities, uh, we have to understand that there are two kind of reactions. In one reaction, it is beta minus decay. And in another reaction, it is beta positive decay uh, that takes place. So how are the reactions represented? See, let us say there is a nucleide named X. The atomic number is A and sorry, the mass number is A and atomic number is given by Z. So now what happens is if it produces beta minus decay, first of all, let us discuss beta minus decay first. In beta minus, the electron is created, the mass number of electron is 0, but the charge taken is minus 1. So electron takes minus 1 away. Overall, the charge will be conserved. So if charge is conserved, this is Z and this is minus 1. So the new nuclei will be having uh, atomic number more than 1, uh, atomic number that will be increased by 1, but the mass number will be same. So this is the first reaction and along with this what we get is antineutrino and a lot of heat is released in this nuclear reaction. So this is the overall reaction of beta minus decay. Now what about the beta positive decay now? This is A, this is Z. You see in beta positive we are getting a positive electron. Now we don't call it electron, instead we call it positron. So you can call it positron, you can cause it, call it beta positive and whatever. So this particle is basically an electron with a positive charge. So the mass of this particle and mass of electron is the same. Now obviously if we want to conserve the total charge in the reaction, this atomic number have to decrease but keeping the uh, uh, mass number as same. So this is what is happening and along with it what we get is a neutrino and a lot of heat is produced. So this is beta plus decay. So in beta plus decay, the atomic number is reduced and neutrino is produced. This particle, this subatomic particle is given a name neutrino and this is antineutrino. Antineutrino. Okay. So these are the two reactions and our answer will be A. But Along with it, I can give you a little more information about what are the things that are actually happening inside the nucleus. There is a reaction, I tell you. In that reaction, the neutron with mass number zero, 1 and charge 0, it divides itself into a proton and to keep the total charge 0, electron is produced. Along with it is produced antineutrino and along with it, heat is produced. So this is the reaction that is taking place in the beta minus decay. In beta minus decay, one proton, one neutron is breaking itself and it is creating one proton. So atomic mass number does not change because one neutron is lost but one proton is gained. But the atomic number changes because the atomic number is number of protons. So it increases by one. So this is the reaction that is actually taking place inside the nucleus. Now, what is the second reaction for the positron or beta plus decay? In beta plus decay, this reaction is reversed. So what happens is one proton, it breaks down into neutron. To keep the charge same, we have to create a positive electron now. So this is positron or beta plus. Plus, there will be neutrino and plus there will be heat that will be released even in this nuclear reaction. So this is the second nuclear reaction that is taking place in the case of beta plus decay. So I will repeat the complete concept. What is happening is these are the two reactions which are happening at superficial level at um, outside. Uh, what we see is that okay this is a beta positive and this is beta negative but these are the two reactions which are taking place inside the nucleus. So this is Professor Varun, all the best. Bye.